but I eventually fell asleep. No, no, I fall asleep in my ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's only right, you know, the, the video that I'm reacting to, it's, it's only right. I really hope you stay in this video. Sup? Though. Dogs are called man's best friend for a reason. They will sacrifice themselves if it means saving the ones they love. Here are three horrifying stories that would have turned out tragic had a dog not been around. Number three. I had to watch after my sister when my parents were out one night. I wouldn't be out anyway though. I was busy playing the current hit game that had just come out at the time. My dog Sheriff was laying next to me when he lifted his head up and his ears twitched. You know, that thing that dogs do when they hear something? Right. I paused the game to see if I could hear what he was listening for. I didn't hear anything and lost interest, assuming it was someone walking their dog outside or something. Sheriff jumped off the bed and ran out the half-open door to the bedroom. He was barking, going crazy at something. I didn't care to follow him. I simply yelled at him to shut up. But eventually, his normal annoying barking suddenly turned crazed and defensive. Oh. As if you were confronting something, or someone. That's when I got suspicious and ran to go see what it was. I heard a sheriff's nail scrape the basement steps as he flew down the stairs. My heart sank as I realized he must have been chasing something. I found myself standing at the top of the basement steps for a whole minute, staring into the darkness below, gathering up the courage to go down there. Oh. I finally did, turning the light on on the way down. Sheriff was standing by the door to the laundry room. I didn't even dream of opening that door. I trusted in him enough to believe that someone was in there. I struggled, but eventually picked him up and ran with him all the way back upstairs. As I was about to shut the light, I heard the sound of the laundry room door creaking open. At that instant, I slammed the basement door shut and locked it. I listened for a few moments with my ear against the door, and I could hear barely over the sound of Sheriff barking, the sound of the steps squeaking. I dove for the phone and called the police. When they arrived, they caught him trying to bust out through the basement window. Me and my sister watched as the officers walked him out to the car, and I'll never forget the dreadful stare the man gave me as he was forced into the back seat of the police car. But I'll also never forget how grateful I was to have Sheriff with me that night. Pina, you gonna do that Number for me? two. You gonna do that for me? I used to have a Beagle pointer mix before oh she passed God. away at the age of 11. Her name was Mandy, and she was the sweetest and most loyal dog a person could ask for. She would never harm a fly, but she did have a big troublemaking mouth. So the story goes, I was 15 years old, getting ready for sleep one night like any other night. Right. Mandy slept in my room, and when I walked into my room, finally ready to crash in bed, I was greeted to Mandy growling. She wasn't looking at anything in particular. Fuck no. I playfully asked her what was wrong, and she just made an annoyed doggy sound before oh. putting her head down. Oh. I found it funny. For the good hour of me rolling around trying to fall asleep, Mandy would constantly break the silence with growling. I would peek at her, but she would still have her head down. She showed no reaction to me offering to take her out, so I could check that off the list. Shit. It quickly went from cute and funny to just annoying. But I eventually fell asleep. No, no, I fall asleep in my ass. <laughs> the fuck are you barking at? See, that's that shit I'm talking about. Like, bruh, no, like I said, fall asleep, my ass. I'm not, if Peanut is ever barking or growling at what I think is nothing. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because I know for a fact dogs can see shit that we can't and hear shit that we can't. So, unless there's, unless Peanut is barking, you know, you know, at like, if it's, if it's, if it's not a body there or anything, basically what I'm trying to say is if it's like any, like, paranormal shit going on, and Peanut sees some shit, I'm not, ooh, and he's barking or growling at something. Especially if he, if he goes like, 
It's time for us to roll out. Peanut. Peanut. Me. Are we gonna roll out together? Ugh. We gonna come here. Here. That's a little treat for Peanut. I woke up to see that it was 2 a.m. and Mandy was growling. I tried to adjust my eyes in the dark and I could eventually see Mandy standing in the middle of the room. She was looking up at my closet door. I felt my heart begin to race. What I was witnessing was flat out disturbing. What? I turned on the lamp and watched as Mandy continued to stare up at the elevated closet. I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to open up the closet and check what she was barking at. I want to note right now I have one of those closets that lead to an attic. Oh. When I checked, there was nothing in the closet, but I noticed the attic door was cracked open. Bullshit. You can imagine the fear in my body as I ran to my parents' room to get my dad. He didn't seem to take me too seriously until he got to my room and saw Mandy growling and looking up at my closet. Mm. My dad is a big guy, so he went in there without a weapon. I sat there, worried for what was to come next. What came next was my dad screaming at the top of his lungs at somebody. I heard boxes fall over and glass shatter as my dad moaned in apparent pain. Somebody was rushing out of the closet. I hoped it was my dad, but instead, some six foot five man with a hammer in his hand jumped out from the closet and passed me. What happened next still surprises everyone. Mandy jumped up and grabbed a hold of the man's arm with her teeth. Mm. The scream of the unfamiliar voice filled the room. My dad came rushing out of the closet just in time to jump onto the intruder, taking him down. He sent my mom to fetch my little brother's prop handcuffs. My dad held him down while I handcuffed him. Thankfully, he was sent to jail. I don't know what his intentions were, but obviously if he had a hammer with him, he probably wasn't just planning on robbing us. If we didn't have Mandy at that time, I could only imagine what would have happened to our family. Who would have snapped all y'all shit up? Number one, I was only 11 years old and my brother was only eight. Right. We were walking our dog Buster around the block in the dark. Buster. Buster was a husky German shepherd mix. Upon turning the corner to the other side of the block, we ran into a tall man who greeted us with a smile. Nope, nah. He stopped in his tracks and seemed to expect us to as well. No. It seemed he was trying to start a conversation, but we just kept walking past. Thank you. My brother kept looking back, telling me that the man was following us. He was right. Each time I turned around, the man was the same distance from us but he would stop looking whenever we looked. I motioned to my brother to walk faster. Fucking creep! The faster we started to walk, it seemed the closer he got to us. We were approaching our house, but my heart stopped when I heard the muffled scream of my brother as he was grabbed and pulled away. Buster started barking like a rabid dog, and I shit you not, pulled the leash out of my hands and sunk his teeth into the man's leg. Hey. I could see the blood dripping down his leg as his screams caught the attention of the people inside their houses. Our neighbor came outside and we explained everything while pointing at the man. The man began hopping away. I had to put the leash back on Buster to keep him from chasing him. My neighbor called the cops. She was a tiny little woman. She couldn't do anything to that guy even if she tried. She then walked to our door and told our parents what happened. Police came to question us and the neighbor. They caught the man limping down a sidewalk a few blocks over shortly after. One of the cops told us our dog was a hero, but we already knew that. True. True. There is no such thing as a bad dog, just a bad owner. I, uh, I kind of agree with you on that one, right? Because I'm not saying I'm a bad owner, it's just that... You know, <clears throat> as many dogs as I came across, um, I only had, uh, only had two. The Peanut is my second dog. My first one was a, um, uh, Chihuahua. That fucking, it was like a devil. It was like a dog devil. It was like, it was like the devil's pet or something. Like, oh my goodness. It was like. My mom, 
and and the dog was fucking fine. But every time I try to get close to it, it'd be like. That's a scary ass sight. I don't like that shit. Um, but. The problem with living with neighbors. Damn. But. I got Peanut when he was like, I don't know, a couple weeks old, I think. But he was, believe it or not, Peanut was smaller than this. He was like, I don't know, like that. Like, I don't know. He was he was really fucking small. And, um, you know, it, it's true when, when they say, a, you know, a dog is a man's best friend. But, you're, I think the dog acts just like its owner. If you if you train them, just do it the way you want to be. I don't, they're okay. Peanut is lazy as hell, right? Don't touch me, Peanut. And I'm lazy as hell. When it comes, well, I mean, at times, you know. Um, and I get scared fast. Peanut gets scared fast. You know, don't lick me, Peanut. Okay, you just okay. Um. Peanut runs when he gets scared. I run when I get scared. Right? It was like, it was like, it's like, Peanut is the dog version of, of myself, you know? And I could have trained him, you know, to be a, to be, to be, to be a guard dog or, you know, to attack people, but... I, uh, in a sense, didn't train him to do any of that. Um, I trained him, you know, the, to sit, lay down, um, and stay and stuff like that. But I just let Peanut, after after a certain time in his life, I decided to just let him do whatever, um, in a sense, you know, because a long time ago I decided to let Peanut not be in a cage anymore. Whenever, no. Fuck it, this is going to a whole different thing, but. I trained Peanut not to be a guard dog or anything like that. I just trained him. I didn't even train him like that. I didn't train nothing. The way he is, he's just like me. That's it. Um, And I'm happy with that, you know. Peanut is gone. Peanut is fine. Peanut is awesome. Times awesome equals God slash. Peanut only knows. Um, so if anybody attacks me or comes at me, you know, I don't. Uh, I don't know because it never happened to me. But if, say for instance, that something like that happens, Peanut, I don't think he's going to attack you. But he might bark like he usually does. He might bark and 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 haul ass and forget me like fuck me with all due respects. But no, I really don't, I really don't know what Peanut will do if I ever got into a real alter altercation with somebody. You know, but I don't know. The chances of uh, uh, the chances of that actually happening is pretty slim. Um, because y'all yeah, know me, I'm not, um, let's just say yeah, I'm not about to be in no altercation with anybody. Nope. If I'm walking late at night and there's peanut with me and there's somebody behind me looks looking real sus right now, or, you know, I'm getting a certain vibe, me and peanut gonna kick it, you know? So, I'm just saying. Just saying. But if you have a dog, please let me know that in the comment section below. And what did, did you train him or her as a guard dog or a, a tack? I don't know. Did you train him at all or her? Because I really didn't train Peanut. Except, you know, to, um, Peanut's nice as hell too. So, <clears throat> yeah. 
And Peanut is 11 years old, even though he looks like a puppy. He is not a puppy. He's old as hell. 11. What's that? Seven? Seven? Seven years? Oh, Peanut, 77? Damn, Peanut, you old. But I love you. Mwah. Keep it cool, Peanut, look. Keep it cool, keep it cool. Keep it cool, keep it class, and I love you. Stay happy, my family. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss.